Hi, I'm Randy Clark, and I'm in uh, Colorado in the Rocky Mountains at Andrew Womack's headquarters, and we had a major healing uh, two nights ago, and we're just so I am so excited to be able to do this interview, and we are actually interviewing Letitia Moran, uh, who had uh, ALS, and I use that word past tense, had ALS. There is no cure. It's it's, uh, but God. Mm-hmm. healed her. Yeah. And we also have her friend, Holly Morales. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, Holly had uh, worked for seven years and toward a PhD, and she can th- share things about that in a moment. But um, God stopped, uh, used Holly, Holly to stop me on the way out uh, of the meeting because it was over and it was time to leave. And I didn't want to pray. <laughs> I, I was tired. And uh, until... She told me that it was for a friend who had ALS. And I have seen two people in 69 years healed of ALS that I've prayed for. And I just felt like, man, this woman is so insistent that I think that it's kind of like, I think I sensed faith in this, mm-hmm. this couple of women. So we went around the corner and began to pray and uh, began to see God touch. And we're going to come back to that in a moment. Holly, would you just kind of set it up? Um, mm-hmm. By the way, a- ALS is the same disease. It's called Lou Gehrig's disease, mm-hmm. from which, like I said, there is no cure. Three to five year prognosis once it's diagnosed mm-hmm. of life. So um, tell us a little bit. You've known her for mm-hmm. how long? And, and just share a little bit, and then we'll move. So uh, Letitia and I um, met in 2013. Um, we were both studying pre-med stuff. Uh, Letitia went on to be a nurse, and I went on to work on a PhD. Um, I studied neuroscience at the University of Texas. I My undergrad is in human anatomy and physiology and in chemistry, and then I was working on a PhD in molecular biology focusing on uh, neurodegenerative diseases and all of this kind of stuff. So that's my background. Um, whenever uh, Tish is my best friend, and when she called to tell me um, about something. And I, I immediately, cause I had moved on to Utah now. She's still in, in Texas. I heard immediately the slurring in her speech. And I said, what's wrong? And I said, are you, are you, are you drunk? Are you, are you taking pills or something? And she got real quiet and she shut the door. She said, no, she said, they diagnosed me with ALS. And I just immediately in my spirit, I felt this quench. And I said, no, I said, I reject that. And she said, I do too. And I said, what did they, what were all the testing they do? And I started asking her all these different battery of tests. What was the result of this? What was the result of that? And I said, no, Tish, I said, no, it is, it is not ALS. I said, I I just pray against this. And we both felt that it was an attack of the enemy that was presenting as ALS, but we just said, no, we're not going to accept this. And so, um, as we were talking, I mean, I live in Salt Lake. And as we were talking, I said, you know, I just feel impressed in my spirit that your healing is going to happen in the mountains. And she said, my husband said the same thing to me. And I said, well, then you need to come up to Utah. Cause at this time we hadn't even heard about this conference. And I'm thinking, come to Utah. We're all going to pray over you. She comes up to Utah. Nothing happened. In the meantime, she t- found out about this conference and had seen the two interviews that you had done about the ALS healings. And so she called me, she said, we're going to this conference. And I said, okay, great. And I said, okay, I'll be there. I didn't, I mean, I didn't even ask really anything. And then I found out it was in Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. And so we got here and I looked at her on that first day and I said, these are the mountains that you're going to get your healing in. This is what I felt impressed. It was in the mountains in Salt Lake. And so, you know, I've, Tish works with her hands. Um, she has been a doula for years, a uh, birthing coach. Her hands is how she heals people um, through and, and nursing. And so that was one of the things that, that was taken from her on the onset of these symptoms was loss of function in her hands, the inability to raise her hands below, you know, above this level, can't grasp things. Um, and so it was just really tough. Let me interrupt mm-hmm. a second. I want to, something we passed while ago, I thought I need to come back to that. Mm-hmm. So you'd been in Utah and you received prayer, but it, it hadn't manifested. There hadn't been any change. Mm-hmm. No change. That had to be somewhat discouraging or mm-hmm. a yeah, little. because you. I was with her in that week. We didn't mm-hmm. go anywhere else. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. But she mentioned that you watched on video 
uh, on YouTube, I guess, uh-huh. a couple of yes. videos that I about the guy I interviewed, or I mentioned a couple of people being healed of ALS. Right. Uh-huh. Was it the guy actually giving his testimony? No, it was you. Was Just me sharing it. it. Uh-huh. Right. So, so even that, and what I want, reason why I'm drawn yeah. is, is Rather than me just sharing it, right now, today, we're creating uh-huh. a new video uh-huh. of someone in the midst of being healed of evidence uh-huh. of that healing uh-huh. already progressing uh-huh. so rapidly. Uh-huh. So I just want the people who are watching this to know that what caused her, Letitia, to have uh-huh. more expectation because of the testimony uh-huh. is going to be multiplied even more so by this testimony. Right. Of, of Letitia. I'm sorry for interrupting, but I just no, wanted to fine. reveal Absolutely some faith. Absolutely fine. Here. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why when we, she said, we have to go to this conference. And I'm like, okay. So we got here and that morning I had seen you and I went up and talked to you. And then, but I didn't feel in my spirit to have you pray for her at that time. But at the end of that service, I had, you know, spoken that prayer of like intense faith. God, please heal her now from Numbers 12, 13. The prayer that Moses prayed. And I, I said that so fervently in my spirit. And so after the service, we're standing out there in the lobby and I look over and you're right there. And I said to Tish, I said, Randy's right there. I'm going to yeah, ask so him to I'm pray for you. Walking out yeah, we're home. walking out. And she mm-hmm. says, no, not right now. I said, no, today. Yeah. And then I went up to you and I said, yeah. this is why we're here. Right. We came specifically to this conference because of the testimonies of the two healings of ALS. That's why we're here. You got to pray for my friend. And you're like, Bleh. and I was like, no, now. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> so yeah. you're like, okay, come on, brothers. And yeah. yeah, we went around there and started praying. So before we get into the part about the prayer, mm-hmm. would, uh, let's see what you could do. So we want to see what you can do today, yeah. which is less than 48 hours. Mm-hmm. It's about 36 yeah, or something 36 like that hours. hours. Mm-hmm. Show us about as far as uh, lifting your arms, sure. squatting up and down and bending over. Anything, anything else you choose to want to. Yeah. Or how high you so could like what you could I'm do. The arms, I can you know, stand up. And you couldn't No. I'm about like yeah. So there's a balance issue and a strength right. issue. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah Her know. hands could only go like yeah. Mm-hmm. Could be right here. Now I'm here. I go on there. They stay there. I don't wanna stop. Mm-hmm. She washed her own hair this morning. Yeah, I did. Well, yep. And then yesterday morning, right after the healing the night before. I was able to comb my own hair. And she put it up on the top of her head in a top knot. Which you hadn't been able to get in past yet. No. Uh -uh. Now, I want to to mention, a lot of people don't understand anything about ALS. So it's a little bit. Sure. Unlike MS, where you can have a remission Uh and get strength back. ALS, Mm -hmm. once it's lost, it never comes back. So what we're talking about are all evidence of healing uh-huh. of ALS in process because she, it's getting she's getting stronger than today than she was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so so now let's go to the time of prayer. Uh-huh. So uh, I told you you didn't have to say anything, right. didn't have to pray, just yeah. pay attention to your body and to tell me. Yeah. And I remember we prayed briefly, a few minutes, a couple of minutes probably. Mm-hmm. You didn't say anything, and I, I often know that many times people don't won't interrupt you. So I need to stop and, and, sure. and ask, what are you feeling? And that's when you said you felt heat. Yes. And now that encouraged me because over 50% of the people that get healed, they feel heat or energy. A little less yeah. than 50% don't feel anything. And my faith really isn't in whether or not you feel heat. I would have prayed again even if you said nothing. I would, would have continued praying. Mm-hmm. But the fact that she did really encouraged my faith because I was having worked in healing a long, long, many years now. I knew that, okay, God's doing something. Yep, yep. And I said, asked about where you felt it the most. And at this point, we become like follow the, follow the leader. What God is doing, we bless yes. that. Uh-huh. And as we did, then you felt what? When, as we, we continued to pray. heat in my neck, left side, which is what has been affected. in yeah. my low back, just racing from here to here. All heat. And just kept going and going as you said more lord more lord i'm like yes i receive it and mm-hmm. it just kept going and when we agreed with what god was doing yes it actually when we said more lord it actually did yes it increased yes, it increased yeah over, yeah left yep. to right full back and we prayed 
what do you think? 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, about 20, 30 minutes, yeah. Of, of just constantly blessing mm-hmm. what God was doing. Yes. Then we had to leave because we had to, they had to shut down the building. Mm-hmm. And I remember <laughs> uh, saying, do you stay focused? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, this is God's healing. As long as you can, are feeling that, that's his healing power. Do not step out of it in the sense of don't lose track or focus. Just mm-hmm. stay focused on what he's doing. Thank him, thank him for what he is doing and ask for more. Mm-hmm. And so you had a 45-minute mm-hmm. ride yep. back to the hotel. Yes. Tell me about the ride. I was yeah. hot. I was happy. I was crying. I started laughing. Yeah, she got the holy like, laughs. Laugh. We're just driving down the road. and Yeah. And then, I mean, I reached out and touched her hands, and her hands were warm yeah, were for so the very warm. first time. And yeah. they've been ice cold for yeah, six have. months at least. Yeah. And her hands were warm. And I was like, Tish, your hands are warm. And she's like, I know. I was like, God is healing you. Yeah. And and she just like all of a sudden erupts in this joyous laughter. And I'm like looking all at her like, what? All <laughs> she's just giggling. Her face was glowing. She's like, I'm getting healed. I'm getting healed. And then she just starts weeping, like just the Holy Spirit just washed over her with such love and just peace that it that it just brought her yeah. to tears. And I mean, I start crying. We're driving down the road, having this Holy Ghost, you know, meeting <laughs> of healing in the car. And uh, it was it's just been amazing to to see the yeah. change. I mean, it's been my best friend, you know, 2013. Um, I knew Tish. Before her diagnosis, I I knew what she was like before. And so then after I had moved away and saw her for the first time after these symptoms had come about and after the diagnosis and everything, my heart was so heavy because I knew from what I'd studied that there was no reversal. It just gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse. It's not like you have flare-ups like in MS. It's not like you can do any kind of treatments for it. You just, it's an irreversible neurodegenerative disease. It just, it goes. And so for me to be able to see in 36 hours, all this reversal, loss of functions and all these kinds of things. I mean, Mm -hmm. tell them what you were doing out in the hallway where we're waiting to come in here. I felt easy, so the yeah. first one, many searching. Yeah. 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 We're we're sitting out in the hallway, and she squats down up against the wall, yeah. and then she's and squatting like, there for the longest time, and then all of a sudden she just like stands straight up, yeah, and I'm no like, help. I just no like help. look at it, wouldn't hold no on help. to anything. I said, when's the last time you could do that? She goes, months, months and months. She said, well, I mean. Like if I had something to brace on to like a chair or a couch in front of me or a person, yeah, I could kind of work my way up. I said, you literally just stood up like that, like did a squat. And then she starts bending over and touching her toes, touching her toes and then standing straight up and doing her arms up high and touching her toes. I'm (laughs) blown away, blown away. And her voice, um, the muscles in her face, because we prayed for the muscles to be regenerated because she had such atrophy. And like on Mother's Day, um, this past Mother's Day, she didn't even want her husband to take photos of her. Now, let me ask Leticia, why did you not want to have the pictures made, photos of you? I felt like it was going to be my memorial. Felt like it was going to be for a, a memorial, memorial, and I don't want that. yeah. She told me yesterday I took the most glorious picture of her. We had been in conference all day, and we went to have pizza for dinner, and we we're sitting there, and she just like we're laughing and joking and being silly. And I got my camera out, and I go, "Just smile at me." I said, "You've got to see what I'm seeing." And I snapped this picture of her, and her face is literally glowing, and. I mean, the most beautiful smile, the the muscle tone in her face has returned. There's no like droopiness or anything. And I showed her the picture and she was just blown away. And she said, when I used, when I would look at pictures of myself that had been taken recently, she said, I looked like death. I just saw death. And she said, now I see life. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. 
I, I, uh, I want to ask you something. Um, can, would you mind if we waited just before the Lord and asked him to come and let's just see right now while we're doing this video, if it, and I, and if it, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. Maybe it's, you know, he doesn't yeah. want to do it this way, but God's God. And we were, we, yes, he is. but could we ask the Holy spirit to come and if anything begins to happen, tell me so we yeah. can bless that yeah. and just see. Yeah, uh, Cause I actually kind of think that might happen yeah. yep. as we've been talking about yep. What he's done, yes. it's, it's, it's building Praising things. him. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, Father, we want this to be something that brings you glory. And so we bless Letitia. Yes, we Jesus. bless her. And we thank you for what you've done. And yes, we Jesus. thank you for what you're about to do. And so in the name of Jesus, yes, I bless her. And I pray that your power would come upon her. Once again, Holy yes, Spirit, Jesus. release your healing energy yes, Jesus. through her body. Yes, I bless Jesus. her. I bless her mm -hmm. arms, her uh, mm -hmm. legs, her torso muscles, mm -hmm. her facial muscles. I, I bless her. And the fact, God, that the strength is coming into mm -hmm. her hands, God. We bless her hands. Yes, Jesus. And we pray, Father, that, and we thank you that she's going to bring new babies into this world. And, mm -hmm. and, and she's going to be able to go back to work. And she's going to be a great testimony to mm -hmm. so many people. So we bless what you're doing in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus. Now, Leticia, are, are you aware of anything? I'm just trying to she is squeezing yeah, my hands. Yeah. So she's squeezing no. my look at this. Yeah. She's squeezing my hands so yeah, hard. The strength yeah. in her hand. Yeah. We were sitting in service, just yeah. like I just feel so antsy that I'm yeah. just tingly. I'm this yeah. antsy. I was like, that's that's all those new baby yeah. nerves are just yeah. coming to life and you're just like full of new life in there. Yeah. All those nerve endings are just regenerated and the muscles and just oh so it's, it's, it's like amazing. You're just feeling strength coming yeah. in. Yes. I wanna like Squeeze. Arm wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Arm off. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just, uh, yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that is yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that is so much better than when we'd finished prayer yeah. the other night, which was yeah. better than before we started. Yeah. There's yeah. a huge difference here. I, 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 I'm telling you, because I shook her hand the last time, two nights ago, after yeah. we prayed in, yeah. in the healing that already it started. Like weak, it, yeah. weak grip. But yeah. it was better than it had been. Right, but, right. but this is, this is huge. Yeah. This is strong. Thank you. Thank and look you. at her face. Look yeah, at her smile. smile. Like, it's smile. just like, Whoa. this is the face that I've known Thank for you, so Lord. many years. And it's we, like just the light of the Lord shining through the healing is just what, radiating. What is impossible with humankind mm -hmm. is possible with God. That's right. This will not be the last person who gets healed of ALS That's by right. the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This Amen. is meant for his glory. Yep. Like Lazarus being raised from yep. the dead. Yep. Amen. So um, when, when Letitia first called me um, about this awful diagnosis. I went for three days just into heavy intercessory prayer. I was in just such a heavy spirit. Um, and so at the conference here, um, on two days ago, when God just impressed me, gave me this scripture and I was pleading with God in my spirit, just God, please heal her now. So we start praying, um, with Randy. I was on Letitia's right side. Randy was kind of to the back and on the left. And I just felt like the electricity of the Holy Spirit just radiating for me. I was just like quivering from head to toe. And I was just praying along with Randy and, uh, and the other uh, team members. And as this heat kept going, as we got deeper and deeper into prayer, um, all of a sudden I had this vision just bam in my, in my face. And I've, I've never had a vision before I've had, you know, the ability to like envision things of like, you know, but never had just smack in my face. And this image just hit me in the eyes and it was of, of a neuron. Okay. Um, the neuron has a top part where the nucleus is, and then it has this long like dental floss piece. And then 
what's called the axon terminal at the bottom. And so the way that neurons talk to each other is the axon terminal of this bottom part connect to the top of another neuron and they communicate through chemical and electrical signaling. So in my vision, this entire neuron was, was lit up with this like blue light. But then at the very tips of the axon terminal and in the top of the, of the cell of the where the nucleus is, there were these glowing lights, these dots that looked like, like, like stars, like fireworks sparks. And they were kind of like twinkling. And, um, and, and I, and I knew that that was neurotransmitters, you know, like right, they're fired up. These neurons are fired up. They've been healed. They've been regenerated. And so I said the prayer, I said, God, okay, now you just got to connect the dots, like the dots that are on the bottom of this axon to the dot that's on the next neuron at the top. So in my mind, I start praying and I told Tish on the way home, I said, God told me this. And I told her about my vision. And I said, we just have to have God connect the dots the very next day. We were in service, yeah. okay? A lady comes up from behind after the first session had ended and says, God told me, she, this is what she says. Um, this is Delane Kelly. She said, when I saw Letitia coming in to sit in front of me, the spirit told me that he is going to t connect the dots for her. After the session, I prayed over her. Now, this woman had no idea of Tisha's condition had the story hadn't been shared. Nothing had no idea. And God gave her those specific things, a word of knowledge. And she said, does that mean anything to you? But when she said, connect the dots, Tish and I looked at each other yeah. immediately and we were just like big, huge grins. And she gave us this prayer. She prayed this prayer over this again. No idea. I had not told her that it was an ALS diagnosis or anything. She said, God gave me this prayer a couple months ago and I typed it up and it says, in the name of Jesus, I command the electrical and chemical frequencies of every cell in my body to come in harmony and in balance and digest every bad or sick cell. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, like I said, neurons communicate through chemical and electrical signaling. And we had to connect the dots. And that was the exact yeah. prayer. That was word of knowledge given right then and there. Amen. Amen. Can you pray right now for, sure. for those with us? Absolutely. Mm. Father God, we call into your name. Peace, healing, restoration for anyone in this battle. You are equipped with so much strength, so much Perseverance, trust him, love him, he loves you, he will heal you, and pray the sinner's name, amen. I, it's been such an opportunity to have a testimony of ALS, and I'm just blown away by the difference in 36 hours and the difference in your grip. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's amazing. I too wanna to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I know that a lot of people, when they get diagnosed with ALS, they look all over for hope. And I know that you're gonna use this, that many people are going to watch this over and over and over, feed themselves on it, building up, uh, a message of hope. There is healing. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, I speak to the bodies of everyone that's watching who has ALS or any other form of a, a degenerative disease that affects the brain and neurological system of the body. In Jesus' name, Jesus. I speak strength to your body. Yes, in the authority of Jesus' name, Jesus. I speak healing to your body. Yes. And I curse ALS. Mm -hmm. I curse this disease. I break its power. Yes, I cancel the assignment. Mm -hmm. We do. We recognize this, this sickness and disease not from a good God, not right. from a heavenly Father. Right. He He gives good things to us. So in Jesus' mm -hmm. name, we come against the work of the enemy. Jesus mm -hmm. came to destroy the work of the enemy, mm -hmm. and so we see sickness and disease of His hand not of our heavenly father's hand. And so in Jesus name and the authority of his name, we bless healing. Holy spirit, just let your yes, power, Jesus. your peace, 
and Europe, that, that heat that yes, she talked Jesus. about, that Letitia talked about, come yes, upon Jesus. those that's watching. The energy of God go into their body. And when you begin to sense that, just begin to be thankful in your spirit. Just be thankful and just focus on his presence. As I, I shared with Letitia, stay focused on that healing presence in your body. And God, I thank you for, every, for others that's going to be healed. And in Jesus' name, Jesus. we bless them Amen. and we speak healing. Amen. Amen. Amen.